Hey guys, Kev here, and I have an unboxing to do for you of a cool knife. Um, but first, I have a couple of things that came in I just want to open while I have them. This one is from uh, Sean over at Geared Towards Gear. We just traded up clips. Oh man, traded up uh, Evo clips. So as you guys know, I have the 2.0 that I love, and I have the stock clip down in the package. Um, this is the one that Nathan made for me with the scale, which I absolutely love. Matches perfectly. And I had a really cool like monochrome uh, Zerkutai clip, but it doesn't really go with this, right? Um, it doesn't really go with this. So I figured, you know what? I'm just looking at the center. It's good. Um, I figured he could use it because he has the OG version of this that I had with the carbon fiber scale. I still have the scale, but I don't plan to ever go back to that. I mean, I'd be silly to. Um, so I figured if I ever did or, um, you know, this if this fits on my 4.0, which it probably won't because it's going to be a lefty one. Um, I don't know. I just figured this might even match because of the colorway. You know, it might match better. Not really. So I don't know. I just figured I kind of wanted him to have the monochrome clip to go with his carbon fiber one. So I just said I'd trade them straight up. Um, and I'm cool with having this as a backup. So um, anyway, that's that. Love this knife. Shout out to Nathan's Knives and uh, CKF. They're doing the 4.0. Um, and they did a lefty which is cool this package here is from through night well i think it's from amazon but uh through night is the company and they offered to send me a flashlight to review looks like they sent two i don't know why but we'll find out what that's all about and i'll obviously do a video on the flashlight this is just an unboxing real quick so they sent me the archer pro through night Oh, they just sent me two of them? They have the same number on them. Let me check the... Two. Through night EDC flashlight Archer Pro 1022 high lumen tail switch LED flashlight USB-C. Okay. So, I don't know. I'll give one away. That's what I always do anyway. So, I'll give one away. Very uh, common packaging here. You guys know I uh, tried the TN12 Pro, I think. It was kind of an outdoor light. It's a USB-C here, so I don't, you know, shouldn't need that. I got plenty of those. And here, it's just a little pocket flashlight with the tail stand on it. Uh, it is USB-C rechargeable. So let's see where does this pop up and then we charge it. Or what? Yep. So right here, you take your... Doo -doo 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 -doo. Take your USB-C. Bada-bing. Bada-boom. Plug that pup in. And then she's charging up right there. Take it off. Turns off. Then you tighten this down. And you're good to go. Tail switch on. Very low light. I think the battery's dead. Yeah, battery is toast on this guy. So I'm gonna plug this. Ah! I'm gonna plug this in. I have a hundred or uh yeah, I think hundred watt cord right here, 60 watt cord. Get this puppy charged up, and then uh maybe I'll have it for the live stream tonight. But either way, I'll do a video on this. Um the other one is the same, so no reason to unbox this. I'll just put it right up in the giveaway bin. For you guys all right next up this is the thing that this video is about this comes from uh levon so knife nuts podcast um shout out to my buddy um i believe it was matt he uh hit me up on instagram and he was like yo that's that's crooked um that's not what he said but he was like yo um there we go uh, 
have you tried this knife? And he said, the Nettle F. And I was like, I don't know, man. I think that one's kind of like the fugly looking one. And <laughs> so uh, then I said that. And then I was like, well, you know what? Maybe I'm thinking of a different one. And I went over to the website and I saw the one I meant, which was called something else. I forget, but it's got a really, it's a little bit um, tactical-ish for me. I, I just thought my style has like camo and stuff. Um, and so I was like, no, that one that you said looks awesome. And I ordered one. <laughs> I was like, thanks, dude, for pointing that out. I don't know if he ended up picking one up or not. Really nice pouch. And this is the Nettle F. So it comes with extra hardware. I believe it's an Ivan Braganitz design who I really like as a person and I like his designs. Cool dude. Um, here is the card. You have the Nettle F. This one's a little smaller, I think, than the Buron I tried. It's three and a half inches on this. The Buron, I think, was three and three quarter. It was just kind of huge. It says blade material S35EN slash M390. So I don't know what this is. I think M390. Yeah, CF M390. There you go. This is number 33, I guess, of 50. Um, pretty cool stuff. 98. Okay, he underscored the stuff that counts. Duh, Kev. So M390, CF, 33, uh, number 33, or maybe it's, there's only 33. I don't know. And it's 98 grams because of this carbon fiber. They call it chaotic or chaos carbon fiber. Was that it? I was one of those two. And it sounded and looked dope. So I was like, you know what? Let's try it. I'm feeling some kind of movement. I don't know what that is. Um, it's not the detent, so that's good. I guess it's just the clip wiggling a little bit. Does it reverse? I think so. Ivan's pretty cool about that. We'll see. Dead centered. Chaotic carbon fiber. Um, it's very light. I like that. You do have a hole here, uh, but it's kind of a weird position to get to yeah um so i'm guessing it's meant for front flipping only wow okay very interesting now one thing that i really liked was the fact that the lock bar access looked really good and that was one thing i never loved about the uh rocot and i think i forget what the other one was that i tried um, so this definitely has, okay, you can flick it. This definitely has way better lock bar access than some of his other models I've seen. Nice liner in there, really scalloped in. I mean, that's a really good liner there. And then it drops pretty good. We'll put that. Hmm, interesting. So front flipper. And you can thumb it, I guess. Yeah, left-handed, that's not going to be good. But you can reverse flick it lefty. Right-handed, that's tough. The position of the hole isn't great for a flick. Now, the thumb flick right-handed, I got it pretty good earlier. There you go. So I guess it's mostly a front flipper, which I saw the hole and just expected it to be a flicker, which it is, I guess. I mean, you're watching me can flick it over here. So I just need to spend some time with it and see. Um, but right off the bat, the whole placement isn't my bag, but uh, kind of I'm coming around. A little bit of up and down on that once locked up. No side to side. Stonewash blade. I believe this was like 200 and it wasn't cheap, man. I think it was like 275 or something like that. I'm getting used to that hole placement. I don't know if I'm getting a little bit of stick, so let me grab. Uh, let me grab a little bit of alcohol, clean that, just see. I like this carbon fiber. To me, it looks like uh, fat carbon. Is it fat carbon? Is that the one I'm thinking of? Uh, I don't know. No, camo carbon, kind of. Yeah, it reminds me of the stuff that was on my um, Christensen Maverick. Yes, I'm just going to slowly say it. Christensen 
Maverick S. Just trying to get alcohol on here. I'm going to go ahead and flip this clip over. I feel like it's going to be better off. Lefty looks like T6. Let me grab my driver. Got the uh, Audacious Concepts driver. I'm hoping this flips over. Looks like it does. We're gonna have any weirdness because of it? We'll see. Looks like we have a titanium backspacer in purple. That's really cool. I'm digging the lefty friendly nature of this. That's something that Ivan kind of uh, stresses. He, I was talking to him about it and. Um, he was saying his sister or somebody's left-handed. Oh, that flick is starting to really dial in there, baby. Oh, that flick. Oh, okay. Got a little trigger heavy. All right, got to calm down, Kev. Let me try this again. I don't know, man. The uh, ergos are sick. The I love this carbon fiber, man. It has... I don't know what it is, but something about it is giving me a little bit of, maybe it's just too smooth, you know? I think it's a titanium liner we can, or a steel liner. Let me grab something smaller so I can pinpoint better. Yeah, oops. So that's steel. Um, not seeing an insert in there. So it's a steel liner lock. Titanium backspacer clip. Titanium clip or coated clip. Who knows? Probably titanium though. Screws are flatheads. Which I assume are tight. Centering is dead, uh, dead down the center. Yeah, I like it. Just getting smoother and smoother. Yeah, this is cool. This is cool. I love it, guys. I truly love it when a knife comes out of the box. My first instinct is, eh, I don't know if I love this, right? And then it just grows on me um that is my favorite feeling because it does not happen often <laughs> usually i'm either instantly in love or instantly hate something um or it progressively gets worse um you know what i mean this i'm kind of falling in love with here guys um really enjoying this I do wish it was like a belt satin or something so that my finger would catch a little more as I'm trying to flick because these corners are really knocked down in here. Um, but I'm getting the hang of it. I don't know how easy it is to flick right-handed, but left-handed, it's better because you have that opening. But the opposite goes on the thumb. Nice. Oh, my God. Razor sharp. Yeah, this is a gem, guys. I I have not heard much about this knife. Um, this is going to be on the Knife Nuts podcast website. It's going to be under the import section. Um, so if this catches your eye, hopefully they still have some. I know he said there was only a few up when, I, uh, when my buddy told me about it. So... You know, I bought it, and then I was like, man, I hope that's not the last one, because he was the one who told me about it. Um, the blade shape is crazy. It's kind of 
got a little bit of a, a a sheep's foot look to it, sort of, but it's basically just a drop point. Um, beautiful, beautiful freaking knife, man. I am I am happy as a clam right now with this puppy. Um, dude, Levon, killing it, bro. And I got it in like a day because he lives like forty five minutes away. Here's the uh, lefty synapse that's dropping. Well, my time dropping tomorrow. Three and a quarter inch blade on that. So you can see, bit of a bigger knife. Um, what else? Well, here's that Evo we looked at earlier. Another Eastern European design. Well, no. Um, company, I guess, I should say. CKF. John Sorensen's a U U.S. guy. There you go. So, I don't know. They say three and a half inches um, on this guy. I'm going to call bullshit, Lamon. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Tip two. Yeah, we're looking at over three. Oh, three and a half inch cutting edge. You sly bastards. But it doesn't feel huge. So it doesn't bother me that it's really not. Um, it's so lightweight, too. Yeah. This thing is fire. I just need to get that reverse flick down better. And then... Oh, man, it feels so good, too. When you do hit it... Man, it... I think what I was talking about earlier, that feeling, is just because it's so lightweight, it feels off almost. This thing cannot weigh more than three ounces, and it's like, what, over eight inches? Well over eight inches? It's got to be like three and a half ounces tops. Absolute tops. I mean, it's crazy. This thing's so cool. All right, I'm going to shut up now. Yeah, it just feels like it's falling, like it's loose or something because it's just so lightweight. I mean, I'm guessing the liners, there are liners. Are they on both sides? Little liner on the inside, on the show side. And then, obviously, the sort of, nope, again, half liners. So you have half liners on both sides. Probably for structure, you know. Um, that's crazy. What's that? Is that uh oh? Piece of carbon fiber wants to eat me. I don't know what that is. Man, cool shit. All right, uh, there you go. That is the nettle F from Arcona Knives, a.k.a. Ivan Braganitz, a.k.a. Uh, Levon in the United States is their sort of uh, U.S. rep or dealer. Or I'm not sure exactly, but I think he's their their only dealer here in the U.S. So uh, really digging it. So thanks, Levon. Much love, brother. Um, I will carry this and whatnot, and I'll do a uh, full review or whatever I do. So, yeah, this thing's sick. Love you guys. Hope you have an absolutely fantastic day, and I will catch you later.